I don't want any interruptions. Yes, ma'am. Wake up, princess. So, this is the indomitable Kate Archer. Super spa. I hope Armstrong wasn't too rough with you, dear. I'm not sure whether it's his Scottish blood or his peasant heritage, but he's rather lacking the social polish. Oh, but you're Scottish too, aren't you? Oh, how insane! Baroness Dumont, you're not what I expected. Is that so? Sorry if I'm a disappointment. Not at all. Quite the opposite, in fact. Meeting your husband didn't lead me to expect much of the woman who chose to marry. Oh. He's a child in the body of a man. A rather large man. All I have to do is play mommy every once in a while and I get to spend his money any way I please. And he has plenty of money to spend. <laughs> but enough about my vocation. Let's talk about yours. Your vocation? But I thought you were working for harm. Harm works for me, darling. I'm impressed. Not bad for a little orphan girl who went from princess to pauper. It takes a great deal of conviction to overcome adversity the way you have, or a great deal of hatred. A little of both, actually. I wouldn't have expected such insight from someone like you. Well, perhaps you don't know as much about me as you think. I know enough. A girl spy in a man's world? That takes gall, surely. That you've been such a damnable nuisance speaks highly of your talents. But the fact that you're my prisoner suggests that you overestimate yourself. Just a bit. Little girl who thinks she can take on the world. Is that so different from a little girl that thinks she can take over the world? Well, we're both ambitious. Too bad your ambition is so petty. Is that what you think? You might have done great things. Instead, look what you've settled for. Exacting revenge on people who remind you of those snobs that ostracized you and your mom after that nasty business with your father. You call it revenge? I call it house cleaning. House cleaning? That's right. Every one of these smug blue bloods I scrub out makes the world a little cleaner. As far as I'm concerned, they're lint. Uh, excuse me, Baroness. I said no interruptions. Somebody shoot this man. Where were we? Ah, oh, yes. You were more. Next, I suppose you'll tell me that I can't possibly succeed. Not if I have anything to do with it. Well, you certainly have spirit. Unfortunately, you won't have anything to do with it. Not unless you can rise from the grave, that is. Are you afraid to die? I haven't given it much thought. Thanks to the incompetence of the insufferable Inga Bugner, you still have some time for reflection. My instructions were to give you a ten-hour fuse. But that bloated moron gave you ten days, which leaves you roughly 45 minutes to live. I've been infected. At the club. That dart that hit my neck. Yes. And if it weren't for Fräulein Wagner's mind-numbing ineptitude, you'd already be dead. You get what you pay for. Isn't that the truth? You have no idea how hard it is to find qualified criminals these days. Nothing but misfits, mutants. I hope you don't expect sympathy. Not from a judgmental goody two-shoes like you. To you, I'm just a villain. Those pretty eyes of yours see only black and white. Well, sister, the world is a crueler mistress than I. Believe me, I would have gladly kept my dollhouses and fairy tales rather than suffering through what I did. But I didn't have a choice in the matter. You had a choice. You were just too weak to make the right one. You don't know anything about me, girl. You don't know what I went through. Those genteel bastards did.
disowned my mother and me before the headlines even hit the papers. Now I'm going to show my gratitude by raining fire and destruction down upon their pedigree heads. Poor Felicity. The world spat upon her, so now she's going to show them all. Is that it? I didn't give you permission to use my Christian name. We've more in common than I like to admit. The difference is that I stopped taking my misfortunes personally. Everybody suffers, Baroness, but only cowards take it out on other people. Oh, aren't you a righteous little bitch? Maybe it will get you into heaven. I suppose you'll find out soon enough. Get Armstrong up here. I bought someone competent guarding this door. That's not a very nice thing to say. Is that so? Well, after you fetch him, how would you like to take yourself outside and have yourself shot? That'll give you something to complain about. Looks like you got yourself in a heap of trouble this time, eh, lass? How about a fight? What are you talking about? A fight. You and me. Mano a mano. You're challenging me to a fight. If I win, you let me go. And if I win? I'm already at your mercy. Are you a sportsman or a bully? As entertaining as it sounds, I'm not about to stake my reputation as a master criminal on a dare from a wee little girl. Coward. Are you trying to provoke me? You're just afraid I'd clobber you. Ha! I'd be more afraid of an angry chipmunk. Is that what you want to hear? 
I might even cry like a nanny. Are you happy now? Just think about all the people that'll lose their mums and their sons and their wives, all because some power-mad baroness had a bad childhood. You want that on your conscience? All right, enough. Fine. As far as I know, she keeps the bloody thing in a safe in her underground lair. There's an elevator behind a wood pile downstairs. You're a resourceful lass. You'll figure it out. That fight... That fight was stupid. Not that it was hard. It was stupid because you do basically no damage to him. I mean, obviously you do damage, but you do... He does twice the damage to you, which in a way makes sense considering his twice your size. But, like, for, for the purposes of gameplay, it's when he does twice the damage to you, and you do almost no damage to him, it's not exactly fair. And it wouldn't be that, it, it, like that itself wouldn't even be that bad if it wasn't for the fact that he throws stupid dynamite at you, which you can't dodge, as far as I could tell, because no matter what I did, obviously, like, obviously, I mean, like, I backed up, went side to side, no matter what I did, the explosion still got me. So, and it does quite a lot of damage, too. So between the fact that he does twice twice the amount of damage to you than you do to him, and the fact that there he throws dynamite, which I pretty sure you can't dodge, and it does like almost all it basically takes away almost all your if not all your armor and almost all your health. So you're pretty much screwed if you get hit by the dynamite. And as I've said, I couldn't I went every which way possible and I still got hit, so I don't see a way that you can possibly evade that. So all in all, it's a pretty stupid concept of him. If it was just fist fight, I could probably do it because I could just like go right, you know, back and forth, punching him, running away, sort of like a sort of like a gorilla fist fight. But the fact that he throws dynamite, that just takes the key because, like I said, no way to escape. So you're pretty much screwed. But managed to finally figure out a way after like. Freaking 40 minutes of fighting him. And now we get to kick that stupid Baroness's ass. To Sea Claw. I am writing this with a quill and a piece of torn parchment for my Spanish captors. I will then hide it in the wall. Okay, did not. That. That was very informative, wasn't it? Well, that's fun. <laughs> Feels like the difficulty of the game ramped up like tenfold. I'm hoping that I can actually... Stay here for a little bit longer. So that we aren't drawing attention. Come on, you stupid searchlight. Wow. 
That is not what I wanted to do. Thank <laughs> you.